before I show you how to set up a web page on your on your new domain, what I'm going to do is show you how to get a webmail account. So well, what you need to do is click on this section here which says manage account and it's going to take you to this page. The main account is normally going to be your username. I don't send mail to this one. Um, I, don't, I don't know why I don't really send mail to this one. Um, if you wish you can actually start using it so you click read webmail and then you can continue um, and this little option here is configure client that allows you to um, set your mail to come directly into your something like Microsoft Outlook what I'm going to do is click on add account and from here I'm going to create one um, let me um, it's going to be a temporary account so and a password um okay and that's it and here you have option of how big you want the how big you want the account to be uh, i normally delete it because sometimes some people like to send me big files and i don't want to limit i don't want to limit that okay the next step step will be to click on create and as you can see it says that the it was successful and when it doesn't say how much memory that means there was you never set a limit okay your next step will be to click onto this button to go back and as I said here you can actually configure your um, mail client so that it can go into something like Microsoft Outlook um, and now you want to click on read webmail okay and then it's going to ask me to enter my password which is okay login And the next step will be to choose which um which account you would like to use. I don't normally use Squirrel or May Mail. I prefer to use Ford for some strange reason. So let me log in here and the last section just confirm confirm that you which language you want it in. I just clicked on the mail to read list. It's all the same. And you see it says here never logged in before. And what happens is you can actually check your web mail by clicking on here, but there's no messages in here at this time. Um, you can send mail and so on. Uh, it's just like a normal web account now. Okay, now let me just log out. Okay. And now I'm back to where I originally logged in. And what I'm going to do now is, it's as easy it is, as it is to create an account, you can do the exact same thing and delete it the exact same way. So. So not sure if I want to delete it. Yes, and now the account is gone. So you can easy when once you've got access to your account, so you can see the power of control panel right now. What happens is you can actually go into your account, set up web web addresses, web um mail account, um and as you please, and you can delete them when you wish and so on. So yeah, I, in the next video I'm going to show you how to actually upload a basic web page. So bye. Bye for now.